Hi everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a tag. Um, got it here on my phone. It's called 15 Weird Questions Tag, which I don't know. The questions don't seem that weird to me, but we will go ahead and get into them. Um, question number one. What's the nickname only your family calls you? My name is Talisha and my whole family calls me T. No one calls me Talisha except my dad. Um, I don't know why he calls me Talisha, but he's like the only person who calls me by my real name or he calls me Talish. And <laughs> I don't know, that's just like a joke. So my little brother, he started calling me Talish too because he thinks he's funny. But um, everyone else just calls me T. Um, question number two, what's a weird habit of yours? I think the worst thing that I do is bite my nails and that's like so gross and ugly and ugh, I hate it, but I bite my nails. Um, three, do you have any weird phobias? I think my weird, like, weirdest phobia is germs, like... I don't even know if it's a real word, but I'm a germaphobe. I guess that would be like OCD-ish or something. I don't know. Like, it's gotten better since I've had the girls. Like, before I had them, it was really, really, like, bad. Like, I had, like, rituals or thoughts or whatever, like, I've seen on, um, like, episodes of TV where, like, OCD people do that. But it's calmed down a lot since I've had the kids because, like, kids are gonna be gross like no matter what I think the worst time ever for me um because she was still a brand new baby kind of um was when Jay was on her pacifier and that was like ugh, the grossest thing ever like if you're a germaphobe and your kid has a pacifier like it's nasty but yeah so that's my weirdest phobia germs like I just I don't know, it just has to make sense to me in my head when it comes to germs, but I'm like really crazy with it, like, my, even my kids, like, I feel bad because I'm like kind of passing it on to them, but I don't know, like, I just, ugh. Okay, <laughs> um, for what's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? I don't think I have a secret song, like, I'll, like, I don't know when if my husband's in the car or if the girls are in the car or whatever like and something's on and I know it like I'll sing it I don't have anything that's like secretive like I can't sing so I already know that and when I'm singing along like I just could give two you know F's so yeah I just go ahead and do it um what's one of your biggest pet peeves I think liars, like, I don't even know if that would be considered a pet peeve, but I just hate when people lie, because it's like, it's insulting to you, because you already know <laughs> one plus one is not equaling two, like, they told you one thing last, like, maybe yesterday, and then they're telling you something else today, and you're like, you know, hold up, and, like, why are you even lying to me, do I look stupid, like, is stupid just on my forehead, like, I don't know, but that irritates me so bad. Um... And then, like, I guess another pet peeve of mine is since I'm a mom, like, I almost feel like a lot of people, um, just underestimate me or something. Like, I don't know, like, everyone has something to say when it comes to what I'm doing and just, like, I got this, you know. Parenting doesn't come with a rule book or a handbook or anything and everybody does it differently. My kids are you know, safe and on track, so just let me do what I'm doing. Um, what's one of your nervous habits? Um, I don't, when I get nervous, I, like some, like now, I'll get on my phone, like if I'm somewhere and I'm nervous, like I'll just be on my phone and act like I'm busy, or like I, um, tap my legs or my hands or whatnot, like I just try to, keep busy and like play it off kind of thing but I don't know um what side of the bed do you sleep on I sleep on the left side 
of our bed and then like even when we go to hotels and stuff typically I still sleep on that side um what's your favorite stuffed animal and its name I don't really have a favorite um stuffed animal that I can remember like I was never really attached to stuffed animals I had like growing up and stuff I had like a lot of baby dolls and I was like really attached to them but nothing really nowadays that I can think of um what's the drink you always order at Starbucks so it's number nine um I don't have like a go-to drink I'm not a big Starbucks person um I guess if I had to pick one drink I would pick um peppermint mocha which I used to like only get that at Starbucks but then I started you know venturing out and <laughs> trying new stuff but I can say that typically I like their um like their drinks that they'll have like you know for a limited amount of time and then they take them away for whatever reason and they're like so bomb and I'm like hey I've been drinking this for the last week and you freaking took it away but yeah so that's that's my thing right there um 10 what's a beauty rule you preach but never actually practice I don't I'm not really into like beauty stuff so I don't really have too many rules um I think one that I can say was like team natural and I was still straightening my hair like I was so into like my girls having this like beautiful curly hair and you guys should you know wear your hair curly and this and that and that's why now I am team natural and this is a, a braid out that I don't really like but it's doable but um I'm into that now but I wasn't so I guess you could say that's the only thing um I just think women are everyone even men whoever they're just beautiful in their natural state the way God intended them to be so I guess maybe that could be one because sometimes I feel like I need makeup like I feel like my face is washed out and stuff like that and I need to yeah like my foundation is usually a little bit darker than my actual like skin color it makes me look a little tan but um so I guess that would be it. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, which way do you face in the shower? I don't know. Um, I just face towards the nozzle, I guess. Or the shower head. I don't know. But anyways, yeah. Do you have any weird body skills? Mm, I guess the weirdest thing would be I could touch my nose with my tongue. But that's about it. Um, what's your favorite comfort food that's bad but you love to eat it anyways? What isn't my favorite comfort food that's bad? <laughs> it would be more of the question. But I think one of my favorite, favorite things to eat nowadays and that I know how to make it and I've gotten it down packed is ma baked mac and cheese. Like, so bomb. Like, I just made it the other day and it's just, oh my gosh, it's really, really good. And like well this whole household will just tear it up it's so bomb so yeah now that I know how to make it and I can't even eat mac and cheese out of um like I guess off the stove top anymore that I know how, now that I know how to make back baked mac and cheese and like now that I'm thinking back about it I'm like how the heck did I survive before this <laughs> and then um 14 what's a phrase or exclamation exclamation you always say um I think like I don't know like I say WTF a lot and even like texting are just out loud I say oh my gosh a lot and now the girls are like always saying oh my gosh so it's just so funny to me but that's about it and then time to sleep what are you actually wearing usually when I go to sleep I wear like a t-shirt um and maybe like some pajama pants or sweats if it's in the winter if it's in the summer then I'm probably wearing a t-shirt or a tank top and that's about it so I hope and that was the last question and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you got to know me a little bit better with our 15 weird questions tag